I'm just gonna make a short little video of my little garden spider, cotton spider friend here, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, <laughs> that's his web. It's a little bit windy out here. Uh, I don't think you can see the web, actual web itself. But I have this little negative ion generator. Three or four thousand volts connected to this post I have stuck in the ground for a fence. And then watch the uh, web move as I put the output near it. I'll turn it on. Try to get it close. Oh, there it goes. See it now? I can, maybe I can make it move in and out even more. But the reason why, oh, it sucked it. See, hold on, watch. It's gonna suck it to the, I don't know if you can see it. It's gonna suck it to the, Because of the static charge, and now it doesn't do it. And my spider friend's not too happy now. But you know the bees of a wing. It uh attracts the web. Maybe you can see the web now. He's going crazy. He's not happy right now. <laughs> Like, fuck you. I don't know why he's moving back and forth like that. I guess he thinks something's caught in the web or something. Anyways, I wish I could have a better camera, and I'm not sure if he's feeling the vibrations and making it move more himself. Like, moving it. These are not poisonous, all they do is pinch you. They were to bite you. But they look scary. They look pretty damn scary, man. Especially coming off a camera like that. Ah, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> oh, I touched it. I'll leave it alone now. Let him do this. Do what he do. Have some uh, pear wood here to smoke with. That's what I use in my smoker. Have some lemon cucumber growing here. Quite a few plants. And this half of a rain barrel someone gave me. None of them have made any fruit yet, but they're just now growing good. Maybe I'll get a harvest before uh, winter gets here. Here's my solar panels. I bought these solar panels from a garage sale for pretty cheap at the time. It was years ago. I got them for $50 or so a piece built this frame for it to where I can raise and lower it but that's not that important it it, it could be a stationary it's not that important you don't have to make one like that but I just had the parts laying around in a welder here 
here's some uh, bricks I made out of styrofoam. This one was styrofoam mostly. Then the rest were uh, wood chips, and they're pretty damn strong. Uh, you can't break the motherfuckers. And perfect insulation. They're pretty much bulletproof. You could shoot it with a bullet, and I'd be. Th it'd have to be a pretty large caliper to go all the way through it, like a big rifle or something. But, you know, they're super light. You know. I can hold it with my pinky finger and my thumb. You know, that's how light they are. And they're super strong. And this one was an experiment with uh, styrofoam and Portland cement. And I used wood chips in these, but I wish I would have had uh, sawdust instead because that's the best thing to use. But there's not much of a surplus of sawdust around here in Greenville, so. And over here I have my house for my inverter. And my battery rack for my solar panels. That one needs to be replaced. I hadn't been using them lately because I need to replace that one battery, but I got four of them in there. And I wired them up using old welding wire from a welder that had went out and then I have my 2000 watt inverter 4000 watt uh, let's see if it gets anything no it's dead that's the sound it makes when it's dead when I turn it on so I need no batteries but I'm about to move anyway, so.